custom colors. I own hundreds of reef runners. I own hundreds of custom painted baits and regular stuff. There are certain colors that just flat out work. Like you paint this color that's factory on company A and you have it custom painted on some other, you know, I mean, whatever bait. I mean, I don't know if you know number. I actually don't want you to say numbers, but like baits that you guys sell, like that are straight chrome or straight clear, they're probably your top selling skew because of guys just painting. Am I accurate? That's 100% accurate. No question about Jigging it. Jigging wraps, what, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever it is. Yep. Yeah, so, there's, there's truth to that. So, but well, I guess where I'm going is, so there's certain patterns that I have that, like, I painted that on a different manufacturer because that bait's a different whatever, r roll, wobble, right? Different deal, different depth. And you just smoke them on that. And then you have some that just don't seem to work like that. You know, I work with Silver Streak Lures, and, and they paint me a lot of custom stuff in spoons. And it is amazing sometimes what I see, what, what makes a difference or what doesn't. You know, because I may have... Like we've got this color, um, Big Water Blue, that's that's coming out, and we did like four or five different variations of it, and there it came down. Like we put little numbers on them. Like there's kind of a system to this whole deal, and there is one phase of this that doesn't look that much different. But as you hand it out to different captains, they all come back and say this variation outfishes it a lot. And and I'm not talking with these other guys. Like this is their experience, what the fish tell them. Yeah, and so no custom painting is. There's no question. It's 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 a trend here to stay. I don't I don't see it going away anytime soon. You know, my take on on custom colors is: um, Do I think you need them personally? No, I don't at all. Um, do I think it's great for the industry? I think it's great for business. Absolutely. Um, my my take my you know my professional fishing opinion is: It's all about getting the the baits at the at the right depth um, at the right speed uh, is much more important than color. There's no question color matters. I 100% agree with that. Do I think that, you know, this dot pattern works better than that one? Personally, no, I don't. Um, we're about to wrestle on this, Ross, and we, I know we, we are. Because I'm, I'm just going to go back to yesterday and give you an example, but I'm listening. Go ahead. And it's, it's, before I go, like, I look at, you know, what, you know, from a sales standpoint of what's really been around for the years, what's, what's, our, what's number one selling colors? Blue and chrome, black and chrome. It's the same stuff that's been used for how many years? Is it, are we actually just using the same stuff? Like when these, these trends in custom painting, are we catching more fish because that's what we're actually using and not using the colors that have worked for how many years? What actually is it? I think it's a combination of things. Um, and don't get me wrong. I, I think the, the custom painters that are out there are phenomenal. They do amazing work. They're extremely talented. My personal opinion, putting business aside, is it doesn't matter nearly as much as getting the, the bait at the proper depth and the proper speed. I agree with all that. And, and I think... We're probably on the same page more than you think, but I think that you know, as I do seminars and stuff, like you said, the location, I get guys that don't even want, I'm trying to tell them in seminars about, you know, like tuning lures and they're just, they're tuned out of it, pun intended. And it's like, dude, you're, you're worried about asking me what color custom crankbaits I use, but you don't know how to tune a crankbait. Like an untuned crankbait isn't going to get you there if you have the right color. But I think it's something that we like to, you know, fix on because it's kind of fun and cool. Yeah, no uh, but, question. But just like yesterday, you know, I had just being real. When you get so many fish on, when you're shooting videos and doing like what we're doing, it doesn't matter, you know. And if you catch another twenty of the same size fish, like you just run out of need the need for them. So, and, and, and at heart, you know this. I'm a donkey hunter. I call them. I like catching big ones. So you start doing things because I've noticed that certain colors at certain times of year in certain water clarities or temperatures they do better for whatever reason. No explanation, but I know that it generally is a pattern. And yesterday we had two of my colors that were, they're, they're good. They weren't that much different than what we were using. They never touched a fish up or down in the middle of that melee. And, you know, I had our, the guy with me. I'm like, take them off. You know, and I had a couple of extra ones laying there. And immediately, you know, we caught a good fish on that bait that we swapped off, you know, going through the same little pod. And you just go, really? Like, because you had this dot and this extra purple or not enough. Really? Because the, the variety of colors that we caught them on just yesterday was so weird. Yeah, there's yeah, and that's that's one thing that's always intriguing to me is, um, you know the how some how some days differ from I mean with the exact same conditions day after day. I mean, there's no question I've seen. You know, I'm just going to use the example of a pur purple uh, reef runner versus a blue reef runner. One day one crushes them, the next day the other one crushes them, and you know everything just seems to be everything changes from day to day. And that is 100% truth. And, I, and there is, I don't have an explanation as to why with the exact same conditions, um, same water clarity, same current, same everything. Um, it was, it's one of the things, I do a lot of salmon fishing too. And, and one of the things that I see all the time is a one day spoons out produce the out, out fishing meat rigs and flies and vice versa. And, 
again, exact same conditions. I think the fish are, they're temperamental, just like humans are. Um, you know, I, they're not, they don't think the same. I don't believe that fish think the same every single day. I think they think different every single day, just like we do. And, you know, it's, it's just a unique perspective. I always like getting people's perspective, you know, too, with, with what we're dealing with on Lake Erie, there's so many fish, you know, I think color becomes less important because there's so many, um, when I think it definitely means more once, um, you know, there's not nearly as many fish and you really got to dial it in again. There's times, you know, during the summer where anybody can catch them, you can catch them on a hot dog and there's days it's a lot more challenging, no question about it. And that's where you got to really fine tune your game. Yeah. Uh, but I, I just, I'm a big believer on in the progression of, of somebody that wants to be a really good angler, understanding the way currents work, understanding trolling speed, understanding where your baits are in the water column is so, so critical. And you're going to catch so many more fish, fish once you figure it out before you start really getting, you know, technical and to your credit, Ross, I mean, I think it's a little bit different in my opinion for you, you've done all your homework and you've done all these things. You're in the fine tuning stage of your, your game and that's, your craft. That's what so I, I think. think it's a little bit different for everybody. I just don't, I don't like seeing anglers get so fixated on just the color 